A new Hawaiian take on a classic izakaya opens in Waikiki. Chef Daniel No from Izakaya 855 Aloha is now here in studio making some of his signature dishes with a modern twist. So good morning. Good morning, Cynthia. Mahalo. How are you? Muchas gracias for being here. So tell us what you are going to make and tell us about what your dishes are. This looks so beautiful. Well, first of all, uh, thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with our aloha spoon, uh, which consists of ikura, tobiko, uh, quail eggs, and scallions. Ooh. I'm just gonna do a small plating for you, so you can get to try. Wow, right. this looks beautiful. Yes. So our concept, uh, izakaya. Yes. yes. What is your concept? It looks so gorgeous. Yeah. So our concept of izakaya, if I find aloha, was actually named after our Hawaii original payphone which kind of like translate to communicating, right? And that's what we're trying to look for. We're trying to look for communication with our guests and our viewers to invite them to a, a modern izakaya, but with a traditional twist and uh, so, bold and flavors. This, chef? So here we have our aloha spoons. Here I put a uni, it's from Hokkaido, Japan. Oh, and also uni. we do, yes, of course. So it's a one bite of explosions actually. So if you'd like to try. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely like to try, except maybe at, at the end. At the because end, Because I might okay. not be able to speak anymore. So, so tell us, Chef, what are your other dishes and your inspiration? So the inspiration is actually by uh, Chef Sho uh, yes. Camio. Uh, here we have his classic kakiage, which is vegetables deep fried. Vegetables deep fried, okay, right. and then what type of uh, like topping or sauce do you have on so, that? So right next to it, we have our tensuyu sauce, which is a classic uh, sauce for uh, deep fried items. Mm -hmm. And it's very crunchy, but at the same time, we are using a lot of local ingredients, like moloka yams, carrots, and uh, Maui onions. So kind of like representing Japanese cuisine, but using Hawaiian local ingredients. Okay, so, so now you're located in the Romer House in Waikiki. Correct? Yes. The, the, okay, so, so tell us about your location and what you're offering as far as locals, people coming to also enjoy, look at this, beautiful dishes. Well, uh, yes, again, so we are trying to use as much local ingredients as possible, mm -hmm. try to have the Hawaiian twist, but keeping traditional to izakaya heart. So, uh, meaning izakaya heart, which is a, a friends and gathering and to share diversity of small plates. Like for example here, the kakiage is very good to share. The Japanese pancake as well. Oh, the Japanese pancake, wow. I know we have some other dishes that we're showing over there. That's the Japanese pancake. Right, that's the Japanese pancake, which is very good to share as well. Yes. And over here we have our poke sampler, so you can get to try. Poke sampler? Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm ready to dive in there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so chef, uh, I know we have this Yes, yeah, so this is our ocean umami. Uh, we're we're kind of like uh, putting Japan and Hawaii together. Uh, we're using uh, local ingredients for scallions and shiso, and also we have Japanese products such as uni, uh, again sea urchin, and Ooh. sea scallop from Japan as well. Well, thank you so much, Chef, and we will of course see you more of you in the next hour, and we'll have all of this on our website. Right, yeah, thank you very much.